welcome and thank you so much for joining me on this quick vid. I have something super interesting happening here with my Neo Stylus Loose Neary Blue. We will be zooming in if you cannot see it already happening. So there's a lot of talk on the interwebs regarding concertina leaves. And the majority of time when you get these leaves, the orchid has either suffered root loss and that's why it cannot hydrate, or we didn't water the orchid enough, and that's why it cannot hydrate. So hydration is a big factor when it comes to avoiding these concertina leaves. Very obvious when it comes to selogenies or fires, oncidiums. But to see concertina leaves on a neostylus, that is rather unusual. This morning I was doing my rounds and I had a little look-see. A couple of days ago I noticed that the crown of my neostylus was growing a new leaf and I was very, very happy, of course. And it is growing a new leaf, but it's not growing a new leaf from the crown. And of course I was disappointed to see concertina leaves on a neostylus. That's, that's unusual. The structure of neostylus leaves is so tough and fleshy, they can't really produce any concertina leaves. So this is a first for me. Usually concertina leaves happen on orchids that have leaves that are a little bit more delicate in their structure, where also ambient humidity can play a role. Lots of reasons, but a neostylus, no way. So what is going on here? Let me see if I can zoom in and if you can then see what is going on. I have never seen this before. You can see the leaf here coming out and I thought, awesome, but then what is this? So I thought this was a new little fan coming, but that is bizarre. Fans don't usually grow up this high in the stem of the orchid. New fans find themselves in a cluster around the base and then they grow and mature. So I thought this morning, hang on a second, and you know what's going on? There is a new fan happening right here and it is actually piercing the structure of this leaf right here and growing out, pretending to be the crown <laughs> of this older fan. So this orchid has given me lots and lots of reasons over the years that I've had it to be puzzled and bemused by it. It's always given me blooms that I have now deemed as a genetic abnormality, but I've never seen it do something as funky as this with that new fan. I have two choices here. I can go in with a little blade, a razor blade or like a carpet cutter and cut the leaf off right here to allow that to develop properly without any disturbance or hindrance. But the concertina leaf structure is already there and that will stay permanent. I don't see that I'm going to do myself any favors by cutting off a leaf. So having thought about this today, before even filming, you see the leaf should die back eventually because it has absolutely been impaled by that new growth. Isn't it fascinating the strength of a new growth and what it can do, how the cells are so strong they can penetrate a structure like this without going brown and yet when we touch them or just nick them a little bit, they go brown or we can even pop the new growth off, but you leave them to their vices and it can do this. I am amazed. So I just wanted to show this in its early stages because the next thing is, is this leaf here going to die back or is it going to stay? And I will not be cutting it off. If it goes yellow, it's done it without any interference of mine. So this is a concertina leaf on a Neostylus loose sneery. <laughs> it's a first for me. I wanted to share that with you. Quick vid today. We've got something more to look forward to with this orchid that doesn't cease to keep me puzzled and on my toes. I really appreciate your time. Hope you found this interesting. I hope that you are just as curious as I am to see what happens next. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition that you stay safe and take care. Bye.